Octopuses are awesome at camouflage and they need to be to protect their soft bodies from predators. But how exactly do they do this? Well, it is pretty complex and quite amazing. Their skin is made up of three distinct layers containing organs which all contribute to the overall effect. On the outside is the chromatophore layer, next comes the iridophore layer and finally the leucophore layer. Chromatophores are organs which contain pigments. In the octopus these pigments are yellow, red and brown. The sacs containing the pigment can be thought of a bit like a balloon with pigment lying on it and muscles attached to all the sides like the spokes of a wheel. When the muscles are relaxed the balloon is scrunched up and not much of the colour can be seen but once the muscles contract and the balloon is stretched out more of the colour is seen. Even with only three pigments, once you get all the chromatophores working together, there are all kinds of colour changes, and these three colours are useful at the depths where many octopuses live. These changes occur in milliseconds, as the muscles are controlled by nerves. Octopuses camouflage can be classified into three basic patterns, called uniform, mottled and disruptive. Uniform camouflage appears as though it were one colour, Mottled camouflage involves the use of visible splotches or multiple colours and disruptive camouflage involves the use of high contrast colours to form distracting shapes and patterns. Other colours can be produced using the iridophores found in the second layer of skin. These are made up of stacks of plates of chitin that are able to reflect light. As a ray of light strikes the top surface of the chitin, some of it reflects, while the rest passes through. Some of this light is reflected by the bottom surface of the chitin, while again some passes through. This process continues through all the stacks of chitin. The reflected rays of the light combine through a process called thin film interference. In this process, some colours get cancelled out, resulting in the visibility of other colours. This is what happens in soap bubbles to give you those lovely colours that can be seen. Awesome that this also occurs in an octopus. Any light that has passed through the chromatophore and the iridophore layers are then absorbed by the octopus's body, or if they are in the correct place, they enter the leucophore layer. The leucophore layer is made up of leucophore cells. These cells are covered with rice-shaped granules called leucosomes. These are able to reflect back light in many different directions without changing the colour of the light, just like a disco ball. They often appear as white spots but actually reflect the colour of the light shined upon them, so under blue light, the octopus looks blue. By reflecting whatever colour of light is already in the environment, it helps the octopus camouflage. As well as all this manipulation of light, octopuses are also able to change the texture of their skin to produce bumps, ridges and spiky horns. These are called papillae, and enable the body shape of the octopus to be disrupted or take on the texture of the rock they are sitting on, making them even harder to see. What a truly remarkable creature.